in this next set of questions, we'll be solving quadratic inequalities and rational inequalities. Solve x squared plus 5x is less than 6. Let's start by subtracting 6 from both sides to get x squared plus 5x minus 6 is less than 0. This is an equivalent inequality, but now we can look at where something is positive or negative. Let's first of all find where x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals 0. Now if we factor, we get x plus 6 times x minus 1 equals 0. x plus 6 is 0 when x equals negative 6. x minus 1 is 0 when x equals 1. We use these values, negative 6 and 1, to break the number line into three intervals. And let's just call this interval A, and this interval B, and this interval C. Now it turns out that x squared plus 5x minus 6 is 0 here and 0 here. In between, it is either positive or negative. In other words, in this interval, it's either always positive or always negative. Same for interval A and same for interval C. So for our next step, we want to determine where that x squared plus 5x minus 6 is negative and where it's positive. We have the intervals negative infinity to negative 6, and then the interval negative 6 to 1, and then the interval 1 to positive infinity. And we're looking at, um, this is interval A, interval B, and interval C, and let's Instead of thinking of x squared plus 5x minus 6, let's think of the factored form x plus 6 times x minus 1. Because when we do that, we can really just look at the signs of those factors. And then we'll look at the sign of the product. In here, we have x less than negative 6. Well, when x is less than negative 6, this factor will be negative. So it's always negative. Here, when we have x less than negative 6, this factor will also be negative. And then the product of the two negatives will be positive. Let's think here for x between negative 6 and 1. For example, if x were 0, then this factor would be positive, this factor would be negative, and their product would be negative. When x is greater than 1, I mean, say for 10, for example, this factor would be positive and this factor is positive, so their product is positive. That tells us that x squared plus 5x minus 6 is positive for intervals a and c, negative for interval b. We want to know where it's negative. That would give us the answer where it's less than 0. So this interval will be our answer. We don't include the endpoints because the symbol is strictly a less than, so our answer would be the set of all x such that negative 6 is less than x and x is less than 1. Or in interval notation, we can write the interval from negative 6 to 1.